It has been confirmed that the employee was not making false accusations. There was indeed feces in the box, but the Chinese employer claims it was not human waste but rather that of a dog. The dog had apparently relieved itself at the entrance of the shop. The lack of evidence to establish whether or not the faces complained about were those of a human being or not, the investigation team was unable to take punitive measures against the employer. However, the ministry strongly condemns such practices and I am sending out a strong message to all employers who may be perpetrating the same practice to stop forthwith. This incident has received attention from the highest office in the country as President Ifike Punye Pohamba has publicly expressed his disgust with the matter, further warning Chinese nationals in the country to abide by the Namibian labor laws. Irrespective of whether it was human faces or dog stools in this, in this incident, such practices border around the degradation of human dignity are a violation of human rights and are indicative of a poor and humiliating working environment. The ministry had issued a stern warning to the owner of the shop that no worker should be victimized because of this incident. The Deputy Minister of Labor called on all employees who may be facing similar incidences of mistreatment to come forth. The shop owner could not be located for comment. However, the victim will continue working at the China shop. Well, it still remains a mystery whether the feces which were found at shop number 16 in Chinatown were that of a human being or of a dog, as by the time of the investigations, the feces had already been disposed by the municipality. Aaron Mushaukwa for the News on One.